Throughout history of rulers and monarchs, there have been exceptional individuals whose kindness and compassion set them apart. These extraordinary kings were not only defined by their royal titles but also by their benevolent hearts and a genuine commitment to the well-being of their people. Their legacies shimmer like rare gems in the annals of history, inspiring admiration and awe for their exceptional acts of kindness and generosity. Let's start with, King Haile Selassie. Haile Selassie was the emperor of Ethiopia from 1930 to 1974. He was a key figure in African politics and a symbol of resistance against colonialism. He advocated for Ethiopia's independence and played a significant role in the formation of the African Union. Selassie was also revered as a religious figure by followers of the Rastafari movement, who believed he was the Messiah, Haile Selassie was beloved for, resilience against colonization. He was a key figure in Ethiopia's fight against Italian colonization during the Second Italo-Ethiopian War, 1935-1936. His impassioned plea for help from the League of Nations after Italy's invasion brought global attention to Ethiopia's struggle against colonialism, cultural significance, Haile Selassie was considered the 225th emperor in a line that Ethiopians believe dates back to King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, which added to his revered status, modernization efforts. He implemented various modernization programs in Ethiopia, including infrastructure development, educational reforms, and efforts to modernize the legal and judicial systems, Pan-Africanism. Haile Selassie was a prominent advocate for African unity and played a significant role in the formation of the Organization of African Unity, OAU, which later became the African Union. Religious symbolism, he was regarded by followers of the Rastafarian movement as the Messiah, fulfilling a prophecy that a divine African king would redeem the black race. This belief elevated his status to almost divine proportions among Rastafarians, however, it's also important to note that his rule faced criticism and opposition, especially concerning issues of governance, human rights abuses, and economic challenges within Ethiopia during his reign. After a coup in 1974, which eventually led to his deposition and death, opinions about him became more complex, with some continuing to revere him while others criticized aspects of his rule. King Ashoka, India, King Ashoka, Ashoka was a significant Indian emperor who ruled the Maurya dynasty around the 3rd century BCE. Initially known for his military conquests, he underwent a transformation after the brutal Kalinga War, embracing Buddhism and adopting non-violence as his guiding principle. He promoted Dharma, righteousness, and religious tolerance, spreading Buddhism across India and neighboring regions. Ashoka's reign is renowned for his pillars and rock edicts, which carried his messages advocating moral principles and social welfare. His legacy as a compassionate and just ruler continues to resonate in Indian history. King Ashoka is revered for, spread of Buddhism, after a significant battle, Ashoka experienced a transformation, renouncing violence and embracing Buddhism. He then worked extensively to spread Buddhist teachings not only in India but also across Asia. Dharma and Welfare He implemented policies based on the concept of Dharma, promoting social welfare, religious tolerance, and ethical governance. He built hospitals, promoted education, and encouraged the fair treatment of his subjects, pillars and edicts, Ashoka's rock edicts and pillars inscribed with moral principles and teachings were spread throughout his empire, emphasizing principles like non-violence, tolerance, and compassion. Legacy of Peace His reign marked a period of relative peace and stability in India, with a focus on non-violence and harmony among different communities. King Frederick II of Prussia, King Frederick II, also known as Frederick the Great, was a prominent ruler of Prussia in the 18th century. He was known for his military expertise, administrative reforms, and patronage of the arts and culture. Frederick transformed Prussia into a major European power through his military successes and implemented reforms that modernized the state. He was a skilled military commander, a patron of philosophers like Voltaire, and left a lasting legacy as one of the most significant rulers in Prussian and European history. Here are a few key reasons why he was admired, military success, 
Frederick was a skilled military strategist, known for his victories in battles, especially during the Silesian Wars. His military successes enhanced Prussia's standing among European powers, enlightened policies, he implemented reforms that modernized Prussia, promoting religious tolerance, establishing a fairer legal system, and supporting education. Patron of the arts and culture, Frederick was a patron of music, philosophy, and literature. He corresponded with Voltaire and invited intellectuals to his court, contributing to the cultural advancement of Prussia, economic development. He worked to improve Prussia's economy by introducing agricultural reforms, encouraging industry, and supporting trade. Personal charisma. Frederick had a charismatic personality and was seen as an intellectual monarch, which earned him admiration from his subjects and even from other European leaders. King Menelik II. King Menelik II was a prominent Ethiopian emperor who ruled from 1889 to 1913. He is celebrated for his efforts in modernizing Ethiopia and for leading the country to victory against Italian forces in the Battle of Adwa in 1896, which ensured Ethiopia's independence from colonization. He implemented various reforms, including the construction of infrastructure like railways and the introduction of modern technologies, contributing significantly to Ethiopia's development. Here are some reasons why King Menelik II was loved and respected. Battle of Adwa, Menelik II led Ethiopian forces to a historic victory against Italian invaders at the Battle of Adwa in 189 This victory made Ethiopia the only African nation to successfully resist European colonization during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. His leadership and military prowess in this battle solidified his status as a national hero. Modernization efforts, Menelik II was known for initiating modernization projects in Ethiopia. He oversaw the construction of infrastructure such as railways, roads, and telegraph lines, aiming to bring Ethiopia into the modern era while also maintaining its independence, political skill, he was adept at diplomacy and statecraft. Menelik II formed alliances with various regional rulers and European powers, skillfully playing them off against each other to safeguard Ethiopian sovereignty. Cultural and Religious Significance Menelik II was considered the embodiment of the Solomonic dynasty, linking his lineage to King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. This heritage gave him a significant religious and cultural significance in Ethiopian society, domestic policies, he implemented reforms within Ethiopia, including administrative changes, judicial improvements, and economic policies aimed at modernizing the country while preserving its traditional values, national unity. Menelik II is often remembered for his efforts to unite various ethnic groups within Ethiopia. Overall, King Menelik II was revered for his leadership in defending Ethiopia's sovereignty, modernizing the country, and fostering a sense of unity among its people. His legacy as a unifier, modernizer, and defender of Ethiopian independence continues to be celebrated in Ethiopian history and culture. King Jigme Sinji Wangchuk King Jigme Sinji Wangchuk of Bhutan King Jigme Sinji Wangchuk was the fourth king of Bhutan, reigning from 1972 until 2006 when he abdicated in favor of his son. He's known for modernizing Bhutan while promoting its unique philosophy of gross national happiness, emphasizing holistic development over purely economic measures. He introduced democracy, improved infrastructure, and maintained Bhutan's cultural heritage during his reign. He was widely loved and revered for visionary leadership. He was known for his progressive and visionary leadership. He introduced the concept of gross national happiness, GNH, prioritizing the well-being and happiness of Bhutanese citizens over mere economic growth, accessibility, and connection. He was approachable and engaged directly with the people of Bhutan. His down-to-earth nature and willingness to connect with citizens made him highly popular. Modernization and development. During his reign, Bhutan underwent modernization and development while still preserving its unique culture and traditions. He promoted education, healthcare, and infrastructure development in the country. Stability and unity, his reign was marked by stability and a sense of unity among the people. He played a crucial role in maintaining peace and harmony within Bhutan and also in the region, environmental conservation, 
King Jigme Sinji Wangchuk emphasized the importance of environmental conservation. Bhutan is known for its commitment to preserving its natural resources, and the king's initiatives played a significant role in this. King Louis IX, King Louis IX of France, also known as Saint Louis, King Louis IX, also known as Saint Louis, was a 13th century monarch who ruled France from 1226 to 1270. He was known for his devout religious faith, sense of justice, and dedication to his kingdom. Louis IX was a patron of the arts, a reformer of French institutions, and a crusader who led two unsuccessful crusades to the Holy Land. He was canonized as a saint in the Catholic Church for his piety and devotion, and he is remembered for his efforts to promote justice, establish fair governance, and uphold Christian values during his reign, King Louis IX was beloved for. Piety and religious devotion, Louis IX was deeply religious and devoted to his faith. He was known for his piety, regularly attending religious services, and supporting the church. His devotion earned him the title of a saint in the Catholic Church, fairness, and justice, he was admired for his sense of justice. Louis IX worked to create a fair and impartial legal system. He established royal courts that provided justice to both nobles and commoners alike, earning him a reputation for fairness, compassion and empathy. Louis IX showed compassion towards his subjects, especially the poor and disadvantaged. He often personally tended to the sick, giving alms to the needy, and creating hospitals for the poor. Military leadership, he led several military campaigns during his reign, including the Seventh and Eighth Crusades. Despite some military setbacks, his personal bravery and commitment to the cause were admired, personal integrity, Louis IX was known for his personal integrity and commitment to morality. He set an example through his own behavior, promoting virtues like humility and self-discipline, cultural contributions, he supported the arts and promoted education, contributing to the cultural development of France during his reign. King Gustav III, King Gustav III was a Swedish monarch who ruled from 1771 until his assassination in 1792. He was known for his efforts to modernize Sweden, promoting the arts, culture, and sciences. Gustav III also attempted to consolidate royal power and introduced several reforms during his reign. He was a patron of the arts, particularly theater, and was involved in various political and military conflicts during his time as king. His reign was marked by both accomplishments and controversies, including his eventual assassination during a masquerade ball. Here are a few reasons why he was popular, reforms and modernization. Gustav III introduced various reforms aimed at modernizing Sweden. He aimed to strengthen the monarchy and reduce the power of the nobility, which resonated with the common people who often felt oppressed by the aristocracy, cultural patronage, he was a great patron of the arts, literature, and theater. Gustav III founded the Swedish Academy, which awards the Nobel Prize in Literature, and he played an active role in promoting culture and the arts. His support for cultural endeavors made him popular among artists and intellectuals. Enlightenment ideas, Gustav III was influenced by Enlightenment ideals, advocating for religious tolerance, freedom of the press, and legal reforms. These progressive ideas appealed to many who sought societal advancement and modernization. Foreign policy, his foreign policy was also seen as successful during certain periods. He managed to strengthen Sweden's position in international affairs, which added to his popularity and the country's prestige. King Bumabala Dulyadej, King Bumabala Dulyadej, also known as Rama IX, was the monarch of Thailand for over 70 years until his passing in 2016. He was highly revered and played a significant role in the country's development. King Bumabal was known for his efforts in various social, economic, and environmental projects and was considered a unifying figure for the Thai people. He was highly revered and loved by the people of Thailand for long reign, he reigned for an impressive 70 years, making him one of the longest reigning monarchs in history. His stability and continuity provided a sense of unity and guidance to the nation, dedication to the people, King Bumabal was deeply dedicated to the welfare of his people. 
He initiated numerous development projects, focusing on agriculture, education, healthcare, and rural development, which directly improved the lives of many Thais, symbol of stability. During his reign, Thailand experienced periods of political instability and change. Throughout these times, the king was a unifying figure, providing stability and continuity to the nation, connection with the people. King Bhumabal had a strong connection with the common people. He regularly visited rural areas, listened to their concerns, and initiated projects to address their needs. His down-to-earth demeanor and genuine care for the people endeared him to many, philanthropy and initiatives, his various initiatives, including environmental conservation efforts, sustainable development projects, and support for the underprivileged, earned him admiration and respect, cultural significance, in Thai culture, the monarchy holds a special place. King Bhumabal was not just a political figure but also a symbol of tradition and continuity in a rapidly changing world. Respect for his role, King Bhumabal upheld the dignity and responsibilities of the monarchy with great respect. His commitment to his duties and his devotion to the well-being of the nation earned him widespread admiration and love. King Matthias Corvinus, King Matthias Corvinus, also known as Matthias I, was a notable Hungarian king who ruled from 1458 to 1490. He was renowned for his support of the arts, culture, and education during the Renaissance period. Matthias was a skilled military leader, expanding his kingdom's territory and consolidating power. He established a renowned library, patronized artists and scholars, and implemented legal reforms, earning him a reputation as one of Hungary's most significant rulers. King Matthias Corvinus of Hungary was loved and admired for cultural patronage, Corvinus was a great patron of arts and sciences during the Renaissance period. He established one of the largest libraries in Europe at the time, which attracted scholars from all over. He supported humanist scholars, artists, and scientists, contributing significantly to the cultural development of Hungary, military success, he was also admired for his military prowess. Under his rule, Hungary experienced significant military victories, expanding its territories and strengthening its position in Europe. His success in battles enhanced his reputation and the prestige of Hungary, fair governance, Matthias Corvinus was known for being a just and fair ruler. He implemented various reforms to improve the administration of his kingdom, including legal and economic reforms that benefited the common people, populist policies, he maintained a close connection with his subjects, often engaging directly with them to understand their needs. This personal touch and concern for his people made him popular among the masses. Charisma and Leadership His charisma and leadership qualities were highly regarded. He had a knack for diplomacy and negotiation, which helped him maintain stability within his kingdom and build alliances with other European powers. King Abdullah II King Abdullah II is the current monarch of Jordan, ascending to the throne in 1999 after the passing of his father, King Hussein. He's known for his efforts to modernize Jordan, promote peace in the Middle East, and maintain stability in the region. Abdullah has played a key role in diplomacy, especially regarding the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and regional stability. King Abdullah II of Jordan has been widely admired and loved for. Stability and Leadership He's known for providing stability in a region that's often tumultuous. His leadership has been marked by a commitment to maintaining peace and security in Jordan, especially during challenging times in the Middle East, modernization and reform. Abdullah II has pushed for modernization and reforms within Jordan, promoting economic development, education, and technological advancements. His efforts aimed at progressing Jordan's economy and society have earned him respect among many Jordanians, engagement with citizens, he's often seen as a king who engages directly with his people, listening to their concerns, and taking steps to address them. This accessibility and connection with the citizens have contributed to his popularity. International Relations Abdullah II has been proactive in fostering positive relations with various countries, positioning Jordan as a key player in regional and global politics. His diplomacy and efforts towards peace have garnered international support and admiration, humanitarian efforts, 
The king has shown a commitment to humanitarian causes, including efforts to support refugees and promote initiatives for global peace. King Kamehameha I, King Kamehameha I, also known as Kamehameha the Great, was a Hawaiian chief who unified the Hawaiian Islands into a single kingdom in 1810 after years of conflict. He established the Kingdom of Hawaii and is remembered for his strategic prowess, leadership, and the cultural impact he had on Hawaii. Kamehameha I is celebrated annually on June 11 as a state holiday in Hawaii called Kamehameha Day. King Kamehameha I was beloved for unification. He is celebrated for uniting the Hawaiian Islands, bringing them under one rule. His ability to consolidate power and create a unified kingdom contributed to stability and peace among the islands. Leadership, Kamehameha was a strong and strategic leader. His military prowess, diplomatic skills, and ability to govern effectively earned him admiration among his people. Cultural impact, he established laws and practices that upheld Hawaiian traditions and customs, preserving the culture of the islands. His reign marked a period of cultural revival and stability, fairness, and justice, he was known for his sense of fairness and justice. Kamehameha implemented laws to protect the people and the land, demonstrating care for his subjects, legacy, Kamehameha's legacy is honored in Hawaii through various statues, celebrations, and cultural events. His impact on Hawaiian history and culture has left a lasting impression, contributing to his enduring popularity and reverence among Hawaiians. King Henry VII, Henry VII was the first Tudor monarch of England, who ruled from 1485 to 1509. He became king after winning the Battle of Bosworth Field, ending the Wars of the Roses. Henry established the Tudor dynasty, stabilizing England politically and economically after years of turmoil. He married Elizabeth of York, uniting the houses of Lancaster and York through marriage, symbolizing the end of the Wars of the Roses. His reign laid the foundation for his son, Henry VIII, who would later become one of England's most famous monarchs. He was admired and respected for stability after Wars of the Roses. Henry VII ascended to the throne after the tumultuous Wars of the Roses, which had plunged England into decades of conflict between the rival houses of Lancaster and York. His victory at the Battle of Bosworth Field in 1485 marked the end of this conflict, bringing stability and peace to the kingdom, economic policies, he implemented several economic reforms that stabilized the economy, including fiscal prudence and improvements in trade and commerce. His administration focused on building financial stability for the crown, which was crucial after the costly wars, marriage to Elizabeth of York, Henry's marriage to Elizabeth of York, uniting the houses of Lancaster and York, helped reconcile the two warring factions and symbolized the end of the dynastic conflict. This marriage was seen as a unifying force for the country, legal reforms, Henry VII worked to strengthen the monarchy's power and authority, while also enhancing the legal system. His reign saw the establishment of the Court of Star Chamber, which aimed to provide fairer justice and reduce the influence of the nobility. Diplomacy, he skillfully navigated diplomatic relations with other European powers, maintaining England's position on the international stage. His treaties and alliances helped secure peace and stability for England, legacy of dynasty, perhaps one of his most lasting legacies was establishing the Tudor dynasty, which would rule England for the next century. This stability in the line of succession brought a sense of security to the country. King Subhuza II, King Subhuza II was the longest reigning monarch in Swaziland, later renamed Eswatini. He ascended to the throne at a very young age and ruled for an impressive 82 years until his death in 1982. He played a significant role in the country's transition to independence from British colonial rule in 1968. Subhuza II was highly respected and revered for his leadership during a crucial period in Swazi history. King Subhuza II of Eswatini was revered and loved by his people for longevity and stability. Subhuza II's reign was one of the longest in history, bringing a sense of stability and continuity to Eswatini. His long rule provided a sense of security and consistency for the people, cultural preservation, he played a significant role in preserving Swazi culture and traditions during a time of significant external pressures from colonial forces. 
His efforts to maintain and protect Swazi customs endeared him to his people, who valued their heritage, respected leadership, Subhuza too was seen as a wise and respected leader. He navigated the challenges of colonialism and independence with a skillful balance, earning admiration for his diplomatic prowess and leadership. Connection with the people, he had a personal touch and was known for his ability to connect with his subjects. His presence during various cultural events and ceremonies reinforced the bond between the monarchy and the people, advocacy for independence, Subhuza II was a key figure in the movement for independence. His efforts and determination to gain sovereignty for Eswatini from British rule were highly appreciated by the Swazi people, maintenance of unity, he worked to maintain unity among the different clans and factions within the country, fostering a sense of national cohesion and identity. King Juan Carlos, King Juan Carlos I was the King of Spain from 1975 until his abdication in 2014. He played a pivotal role in Spain's transition to democracy after the Franco dictatorship. His reign saw significant modernization and democratization of Spain, but his later years were marked by controversies, including financial scandals, leading to his abdication in favor of his son, King Felipe VI. King Juan Carlos I of Spain was often revered for, role in transition to democracy. He played a pivotal role in Spain's transition from dictatorship to democracy. After the death of General Franco, Juan Carlos helped guide Spain towards a constitutional monarchy, overseeing democratic reforms and supporting a new constitution, unity, and stability, he was seen as a unifying figure. Crucial in maintaining stability during Spain's transition. His actions, especially during the attempted coup in 1981, where he firmly stood for democracy, earned him widespread respect. Symbol of change. Juan Carlos symbolized a break from Spain's authoritarian past, promoting modernization and fostering international relations, personal charisma, he had a charismatic and affable personality, making him relatable to the public. His common touch and willingness to connect with people helped him gain popularity, international recognition, his diplomatic efforts and role in promoting Spain on the global stage were also appreciated, enhancing the country's international standing, however, it's essential to note that opinions about him evolved over time, and there were also controversies and challenges faced by his reign, especially towards the end of his tenure, which influenced public perception. King Willem Alexander of the Netherlands King Willem Alexander of the Netherlands has garnered admiration for various reasons. Here are a few factors contributing to his popularity, accessibility, he's seen as approachable and relatable. He engages with people on a personal level, making efforts to connect with citizens during visits, events, and even on social media, empathy, King Willem Alexander displays empathy and compassion. He's been involved in initiatives supporting various causes, including mental health, veterans, and water management, which resonates positively with people, modern approach, he embodies a modern monarchy, balancing tradition with a contemporary mindset. His down-to-earth nature, combined with a sense of duty, appeals to a broad audience. Family values, his commitment to his family and the visible bond he shares with Queen Maxima and their daughters is admired by many. It reinforces the image of a caring and relatable royal family, representing the nation, he takes pride in representing the Netherlands globally, fostering positive international relations and showcasing the country's values and achievements. King Harold V, King Harold V is the current King of Norway, reigning since 1991. He's known for modernizing the monarchy, being an avid sailor, and for his down-to-earth and approachable personality. He's highly respected for his dedication to his duties and his efforts in promoting Norwegian interests globally. King Harald V of Norway was widely loved and respected for accessibility and approachability. King Harald V was known for being approachable and down-to-earth. He engaged with people from all walks of life, making them feel valued and heard, commitment to duty, he was dedicated to his role as a constitutional monarch. His commitment to representing Norway, both domestically and internationally, was evident in his actions and engagements, national unity, King Harald V played a significant role in fostering a sense of national unity and pride among Norwegians. 
He showed genuine care for his country and its people, especially during challenging times. Modernizing the monarchy, he adapted the monarchy to modern times while still respecting its traditions. He and Queen Sonia made efforts to connect with younger generations and adapted to societal changes, respect for institutions, King Harald V upheld the principles of democracy and respected the institutions of Norway. His adherence to the constitution and the rule of law earned him admiration and trust, representing Norway internationally, his diplomatic skills and representation of Norway on the global stage contributed to the country's positive image abroad, humanitarian and environmental efforts, the king showed a commitment to humanitarian causes and environmental issues. Championing various initiatives and projects, thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through the lives of history's kindest monarchs. Their legacies echo through time, reminding us of the power of compassion, empathy, and benevolence. As we bid farewell to these remarkable leaders, may their stories inspire us to embrace kindness in our own lives, creating a world where empathy reigns supreme. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing glimpses into history's extraordinary figures. Until next time, stay curious and keep spreading kindness wherever you go.